I've always wanted to work in film and video production, but good work in that field has been relatively few and far between. This one time, I applied for a job as a production assistant on a film shoot. At the time, I thought that production assistant meant someone who handles the equipment, which I thought sounded right up my alley. Eventually, I was able to land an interview with the director. Basically, what a production assistant does is do whatever he's needed for on set. Would you be okay with that? Sure, I'm willing to help in any way I can. And I do mean you have to do anything you're needed for. Are you sure you're okay with that? Um, sure. Great. Welcome aboard, sir. The first big red flag was when production was postponed for a whole month, leaving me without much to do in the meantime. Then, when the first day of production finally came, Hey, it turns out we don't actually need you for this scene. We'll meet you at the next location, okay? When I did that, and it was finally time for me to be on set, it was then that I realized that I may have misunderstood what production assistant meant. My duties largely consisted of menial tasks such as helping arrange furniture, picking up trash, and watching over the catering. Actually handling the equipment was mostly consigned to the grip department. The most significant thing they had me do was to run to nearby stores to find props needed for the scene and those could be shockingly hard to find. So I just looked around three different stores, and I couldn't find the Irish blue apples. Are you sure we can't use any other fruits for the scene? Okay, I'll check out another store. My role in the production continued for days with more menial tasks and errands to run until my parents got a word of what my role was like. Hey Darren, I just talked with someone about your situation and they're willing to help you put your skills to better use. How will they do that, Dad? Well, they said they would let you use actual film equipment, unlike what you're doing on that film shoot. That sounds great. I'll see if I can switch gears to that as soon as possible. And after finishing one more day of the production, I told everyone else involved about my situation. Luckily, they understood and let me leave. The following weekday, I got to work at an organization that let me do jobs that were more to my fancy, and after months of waiting, I was finally paid back for all the driving I did during my time on the production. Now if I've learned anything about that experience, it would be to always be more careful about what gig I sign up for, and to go into one with a better understanding of what I have to do. But hey, I won't have to worry about signing up for another film gig for a while since I have a job that I enjoy working at.